Hey, pickers, Mighty Mike and Kay picking weeds vintage. <laughs> and it's not a very good day to set up today. It's cold, it's rainy, it's damp, and it's 48 degrees out. So people are not necessarily going to go to the flea market. So come along with us. We have two Facebook Marketplace meetups at 1030. We're heading there right now. And then we're going to do a couple sweeps of our favorite thrift stores on this Saturday morning. So glad you joined us for this edition of Pick and Weeds Vintage. Okay, so we are 10 minutes early, and I always say that it's good to get here earlier because most times people do end up getting there earlier, especially if they're coming from out of the area. But it's funny, we have two Facebook Marketplace meetups, and we just got a message, it's supposed to be at 10.30. At about 10.15, the one woman messaged us who agreed to meet us at 10.30, said, oh, just leaving right now, will be about 40 minutes. So now that's gonna cut into our time, so we'll, wait for the one that's scheduled for 10 30 and there is a local thrift store just a few blocks away that we can do a quick sweep of and as a picker you just have to use your time wisely a lot of it is time management so now we wait for our first meetup and hopefully they show up and everything goes according to plan Are you sure? So here we are at the post office as a reseller. Hopefully you're running to the post office on a daily basis. And again, it's a rainy day, not set up out at the flea today. So uh, we just have one package. We have another one that uh, sold, but we have to ship that. So they paid late before we could pack it. And um, actually, no, the invoice wasn't sent. So um, there was a mix up with the email. So she's gonna send that later today or else we would have had that as well. But so I never complain going to the post office because that's always a good thing. Yesterday I took five packages. So hopefully on Monday I'll take even more than that. All right, so Mighty Mike jumping on the mic here, and Kay is filming. Oh, love the faux fruit. There is uh, an orange, and this is Lighthouse Thrift Store, and they support uh, Mennonite School, 
and the church. You know, we're in Pennsylvania, Dutch, Amish, Mennonite country. So uh, what a wonderful thrift store. And they've already expanded it twice. They've uh, extended it. So um, they've only been around since July of 2020. And it's one of our favorite places to go picking, to go thrifting. So Kay's doing the um, camera. And um, she's just showing you the variety of knick-knacky things. It's funny, that second Marketplace meetup, she ended up being an hour late. Oh, there's President Bush. <laughs> and uh, he, you press the button and he says a couple of funny things. But um, they had messages prior to coming down and said, do you know a place where we can go to pick little knick-knacks? And, of course, <laughs> this, this is a great place. So... It ended up working good for all parties involved, and it was a wonderful day to go picking indoors because it was just raw outside. Well, there's some more faux fruit. Don't go so fast, Kay. Come on, some lemons there. And she actually showed her that, and, and uh, she said, no, that's the wrong material. I like the different material. But we're going to have to get her narrating. Boy, somebody donated a bunch of clowns. And uh, they're all over the place. Some people get scared by clowns. We've got some oversized clowns, but we always have fun with them. Um, but, yeah, we, we had a really good time here in Lighthouse. And it's just a wonderful store to go pick in. And it benefits, as I said, a local church, local community, a local school in the community. And it's just wonderful. This is the man cave. Everybody is welcome in the man cave, even the gals like to go in the man cave and every now and then they'll do like a 25 percent off sale on the man cave every item in the man cave so i picked quite a few things from the man cave and uh, it's it, again it's just a fun place to go picking this is the first time by the way i'm trying the voiceover and um, we got the microphone hooked up here to the computer, so hopefully it all turns out okay. I like those ice hockey skates. They're kind of cool for display. Maybe somebody who has a booth wants to do like a, a winter display for their antique booth. But it's just a fun place to go picking, and we know everybody there that works there, and they become friends. We shared some garden extras, some peppers, and some other things from the garden. buy the two G.I. Joe lots, but these are interesting. Original box, which is cool. 1997. It's a Kenner. And then this is Pretty neat that they have the original boxes. That's cool. All right, let's go check out. Okay, so both marketplace meetups went really well. In fact, the one couple that came from out of the area, 
they were 45 minutes late and they decided, I said, hey, why don't you just come to this other thrift store we're at? And uh, that's where we did our meetup because they asked about, hey, are there any good places to go thrifting? So we're at our second favorite place to go thrifting on this beautiful, dreary day. It's rainy, it's damp, it's cold. But we got some really good stuff. Can't wait to show it to you later on. And this is our favorite thrift store that supports animals. Come along with us to see all the cool treasures inside. Yeah, that's cool. Woody! Nice. Only one. Yep. To infinity and beyond! All right, so we are here at the Humane Society thrift store. And whenever you hear me do a video and I say we got this from one of our favorite thrift stores that supports animals, this is the one that I'm talking about. And it's very popular. A lot of people like to go there, go picking. There's so many cool items and the prices you can't beat. And it supports our furry friends. Oh, there's Kay. Loving her coffee mugs. Look at that, 50 cents. And sometimes they do half price for 25 cents. And she does really well online on our eBay store with the coffee mugs. I used to bust her chops and say, why are you buying so many coffee mugs? And then I'm running to the post office, taking five packages one day and three the next day and six or seven the next day. And half of them are coffee mugs. And I started telling her, hey, buy some more coffee mugs. So we got some more holiday stuff out here, some Christmassy stuff, and it's fun. All the thrift stores, all the local thrift stores, they do a wonderful job around the holidays. You know, before it was Halloween, we got some really cool Halloween stuff, some Halloween masks, and they have some Thanksgiving items. And now, of course, we're already promoting Christmas stuff, and we love buying vintage Christmas items. Oh, there I am. We got that. <laughs> he lifts weights. What do they call that? And... Um, I should actually let me you know what I mean? let Where you listen to me the railroad. as I try to explain what that railroad, railroad spike tire. is. Oh, I couldn't think of the word I spike. An iron. It. Yeah. It's all like a um. See that? Not a nail, but like not a nail, a but kind of yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't think, think of the word, word either. <laughs> but it's cool. That's Look, cute. railroad metal oh, art. Yeah. It's a railroad it's spike. <laughs> It's funny when you're recording and you're filming and any of you other YouTubers that are watching, you know what I'm talking about. You just sometimes get caught up in the moment. Yeah, it's cute. Happy birthday. And you, um, you know, you kind of go blank. Happens to me all the time. But yeah, we're looking at the seasonal birthday. items here. Remember when he comes to life? Yeah. Oh, that was from the Frosty the Snowman special. They put the hat on him and he goes, Happy birthday. They're also raising funds too. They have so many creative ways to raise money for the animals, for the cats, and for the dogs. And so you can buy a basket. Um, they're going to have a raffle. But this is one of our favorites here. So many cool vintage items. And people love animals, so they donate entire collections sometimes to the Humane Society thrift store. And here again, the glasses have caught Kay's eyes and she's trying to find something with advertising on or something catchy. And the prices are so reasonable. There's a, uh, I don't know if I'm from Philadelphia Phillies, but only a dollar fifty for a signed black and white photograph. Where is Thumble Kim? Some great vintage records in the original sleeve. You just never know what you're going to find when you go thrifting. And I think that's why we all enjoy the hobby so much. That looks like a painted nut, an oversized nut. Although I've been accused of being a, a painted nut or a nut. Right? I think we're all a little nutty to go into this uh, profession. But it is a lot of fun. That's a charming tale. We ended up taking him with us. It's funny too when you're in the store and you're looking at these wonderful items at a great price, right? And you get it home under the light box and you're like, oh, there's a little chip on the back of the shoulder or, 
you know, I didn't see this at the bottom. And we're always looking for that perfect item, aren't we, George the Antique Nomad? Because it's reselling, right? Nobody wants to buy something that's b b uh, broken or chipped or has a tarnish or whatever. That's a good problem. <laughs> but that was Thursday. Oh my God, I was so tired. I So it's wonderful, too, uh, that these volunteers are not paid a cent, and many of them are retired, but not really, right, because they're there. It's open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but yet many of them are there every day or every other day, whatever, and it's a labor of love. In fact, I saw one of our friends, Paul, set up at the Flea. You'll see him on a video the next day where we stopped by his booth up at Sunset where we also sat up. We sat up there during the summer months. And I told him, I said, hey, if you ever need a hand uh, lifting these boxes out or taking things to the, get recycled, whatever, I said, I'd be happy to help volunteer because really it's great when you can give back to your local community in any way. So we're going by the library right now where they have all the books. And I think I did film a short segment um, with the with the videotapes, but... Kay is heading to the Vintage Room, and this month's theme, bum ba da dum is Disney. It's a small world after all. No, it's pretty cool. They always try to do different themes. They've done NASCAR, uh, NFL. Is that your size? Luke, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I sound more like Yoda, Jedi Knight. <laughs> Smart man is he. You can pull that off. Oh, look at that. One dollar. Mm -hmm. We still have ours. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the evil. Isn't that cool? Now, for those of you who have been to thrift stores, NFS means not for sale. All right, so yeah, the vintage room is always fun. The t-shirts are great to go through, and they've got the shoes there. I need to buy a pair of boots for the wintertime when I'm set up out there in the field because I don't want to wear my snow boots. I need a pair of hiking boots or whatever. And I'll tell you what, shopping at a thrift store, you can really save money and get some good quality items, and sometimes half price, maybe even more, 75% off if you go to a regular retail establishment there's goofy gorsh how about the uh how about disney world just celebrating their 50th anniversary recently that's really exciting how many of you grew up going to disney world well disney world in orlando florida how many of you have been to disneyland i've not been there yet but we were talking about going there sometime in the future that'd be a lot of fun i love the artwork too bought so many cool pieces from this particular thrift store where they support animals all. There's the cat and the doggy and another cat. We rescued Sonny and we just are enjoying him so much. He's a great addition to our family. And we feel like this is also a part of the family as well, the thrift store of volunteers. And the more you get involved with them, the more you wanna get involved. We also brought some garden extras for them and it's always nice to uh, help them out in any way that you can because they do so much for our community and for our furry friends. Just wrapping up this session, what a great way to make use of a Saturday that started off cold, damp, 
rainy, overcast two marketplace meetups. And then we get to go picking at our two favorite local thrift stores. So I'm getting ready to wrap it up and then look at how the weather just changed so quickly. Okay, so we are back. As you can see that it turned out to be a nice day, beautiful blue sky, a little on the windy side. It's cold, just over 50 degrees, but we had a really good trip out. We had some lunch and now we want to show you our haul. We got two G.I. Joe dolls with the lockers and locks of the weapons. So those are kind of cool. Even the ski poles here and the skis and the ski boots. Got to have the ski boots with the traction. And uh, this locker with this guy, this G.I. Joe doll, they changed a little bit since when I was playing with G.I. Joe dolls. Um, lots and lots of accessories. This was 35. And then this guy, not as many. Looks like he's a, an astronaut. This was 25. Uh, we looked on the bottom of this, it was 1997. So they're not that old. And then we got two bags of vintage army men. This one is 450. And uh, this was a little bit smaller for two bucks. So we had 30% off since we're frequent shoppers there. So that definitely helped all, all, all the bill come down. It was like $20 off. And then uh, I like emerge, or I like uh, advertising. And this is a Holiday Inn. I guess Holiday Inns are still around, aren't they? I guess now they have a Holiday Inn Express. Let's see that for emergency use only. Thought that was cute, probably a giveaway if you stayed at a Holiday Inn years ago. And then this is from, look how small the handle is there, there or the, um, the swatter part. This is from a local candy company, Smith's Candy. So that was a good haul there at Lighthouse Thrift Store. And then we went to our thrift store, Humane Society Thrift Store in Lebanon, and we got some really nice treasures. This was a set of four napkin rings and... Um, they're wine corks, but it feels like it's ceramic or resin. Not really sure. Or plastic, huh? We also, this is interesting. Kay found this one. This is a spray, a cologne spray. It's Play-Doh. And it actually smells, we all remember that smell, don't we? <laughs> Play-Doh. Here is a bank and this is called a charming tail or charming tails with the original stopper and it's the moon and stars got that for three bucks but that's very cheerful and then also we got some advertising on the mugs from the american pharmaceutical association 1973 got a pair of those and this is in, uh, what's it called with the white? What's that called? Anchor Hawking? Milk glass. Oh, milk glass. So that's kind of neat. And these were a quarter each, I think. Circus Circus, Hotel Casino, Reno, Las Vegas, the advertising with the clown. I don't know, I thought this was kind of cool. It's a diver down tissue box. 50 cents. And it has the... Uh, the diver all around it's made out of wood so that's kind of cool this is the uh, railroad spike guy who's lifting weights almost kind of reminds me of the chameleon from the insurance there's a geico and that was a dollar we got this handkerchief for 25 cents it's uh penn state university defending national champions 1982 the horrible hanky will be number one 
in 83. And then we also got this scrub, nurse's scrub for someone who works in healthcare. And it's from Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer. It's a large, made in Vietnam, but it's very cool. It's got the dentist on there and Santa. And then uh, the snowman, wasn't that Burl Ives? And then there's Rudolph. And then finally, our friend Paul, he got a donation and um, somebody donated two irons, but they were in really beat up condition and they didn't even have the cord. The cord was cut off. So he was ready to throw this out and I said, hey, that box is kind of cool. So he said, you want it? I'm going to throw it away. But um, you don't find, you know, old boxes like this too much. And that was a freebie because... He was just ready to throw this out, and I don't know, Betty Crocker, General Mills, 1946, I think it says. So that's kind of cool. If I find a good one in, in good condition, there's the box. So all in all, we had a really good haul, and um, it was a great day because we also got to do two marketplace meetups. And that's always cool when you can do that and then do a little bit of picking. So thanks a lot for coming along on this journey with us. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We have an eBay store. And we're now on Flickr. I'm Mighty Mike. Happy picking, everybody.